Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss a redox reaction question comparing the mole ratio of electron to oxidizing agent. So let us take a look at this question. I have two moles of an oxidizing agent, XO4- in the presence of excess acid, oxidizes 96 dmq of nitrogen dioxide gas at room temperature and pressure to NO3-. So question is asking for the number of moles of electrons accepted by one mole of XO4 minus. Now this question is actually under redox reaction and let us consider the information that we have so far. I know that NO2 is oxidized. Question tells me that XO4 minus is an oxidizing agent and NO2 is oxidized to NO3 minus in acidic medium. And I'm also given I have 96 dm cube of NO2 and involving my reduction since XO4 minus it is an oxidizing agent itself has to be reduced. We will expect XO4- to be reduced to something else. And given there are two moles of XO4-, and essentially what we want to determine is, I want to look at the mole ratio involving XO4- and electron gain. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to solve for N here. Now, once we have this information, you notice we actually will have one half equation which is known because I can basically balance the oxidation half equation in a city medium, I will have the oxidation half equation. So this oxidation half equation is known and the reduction half equation is unknown because I don't know XO4 minus will be reduced to whatever species. The reduction half equation is unknown and the unknown species that we want to determine is actually the mole ratio of electron to XO4 minus. So when we have this type of question, then recommendation for us to determine the oxidation state for my X in my product, we'll be using these four steps. Now, usually these four steps, we can use it to determine the oxidation state for unknown species when we're given experimental data. So you notice for this question, we're given the amount of NO2 in terms of the volume of the gases, and we're given the amount of XO4 minus. Sometimes what they can do is they can give us a titration and they make us determine the number of moles of our reactant. What we want to work towards is to determine the oxidation state for the unknown species, X in this case. So if that is the case, then this will be the four steps that we will be using. Step number one, we will determine the number of moles of reactant. Number two, we will determine the number of moles of electron transferred, making use of the known half equation. Step number three, I can determine the mole ratio for electron to unknown species. Finally, if required, we can determine oxidation state for the unknown species. So let us use this question as an example to talk about these four steps. So step number one, what I can do is I can find the mole of NO2, which is 96 dm cubed divided by 24 dm cubed, because that will be the molar volume of a gas at room temperature and pressure. So this will work out to be four moles. And the mole of XO4 minus is given, it will just be two moles. And step number one is done, finding the number of moles of my reactant. Now step number two, we want to find the mole of electron transferred during this redox reaction. And I can balance the oxidation half equation as such, NO2 plus water to give me NO3 minus plus 2H plus plus electron. So keep in mind, we have to balance this in acidic medium because the information is given. We are doing this reaction in acidic medium. Now I have the mole ratio involving electron to NO2, which is one is to one. So electron loss to NO2 is one is to one. And this will mean that the number of moles of electron loss by NO2 is equal to the number of moles of NO2, which we have already worked out, which is four moles. And this is important. The number of moles of electron loss by NO2 will be equal to the mole of electron gain by XO4 minus. Now, this is a very fundamental concept involving redox reactions because redox ultimately it is a transfer of electron. If I'm oxidized, I'll lose a certain number of moles of electron. And if you are reduced, you gain a certain number of more of electrons. And if there's a redox reaction between you and me, then the electron transfer will be a total transfer of electron. There's no spare or remainder electrons floating around. The transfer of electron will be 100% from the species that is oxidized to the species that is reduced. So therefore, it means that the number of more of electron lost by NO2 and the mole of electron gained by XO4- will be exactly the same since they are taking part in the same redox reaction which is four moles. Now I have the mole of electron gain by XO4 minus, which is four. Then I can work out the mole ratio for electron gain to XO4 minus, 
which is 4 divided by 2, which is 2 is to 1. This means that each XO4 minus will gain 2 electron. And basically, we are able to answer this question. Question is asking me for the mole ratio between electron to XO4 minus. 2 is to 1. And mole of electron accepted by 1 mole of XO4 minus will be equals to 2. Answer to this question will be B. Just to add on to that, because sometimes the question do want us to determine the oxidation state for X in the product, then it is actually very simple, just one more step for us to consider. Since each XO4 minus will gain two electrons, then the decrease in the oxidation state for X will be by two units. And I can work out oxidation state for X in the reactant, which is a plus seven oxidation state. Gain two electrons means that oxidation number for X will decrease by two units. And therefore, the oxidation state for X in the product will be plus five. All right, so that was the discussion involving this redox reaction question targeting determining the oxidation state for unknown species given experimental data. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.